Hi guys, welcome to another week of reacting to some more game trailers. You may have seen that I actually ended up playing through Squadron 51, it's uploaded. Uh, there's a, The full playthrough VOD is on the Twitch channel, but on here there's just a full playthrough with all my deaths removed, so it's just literally all the levels straight through. But that's not what we're here for today. We're here for trailers. And we are going to start with remoteness. We started the evacuation immediately. Not even the time to say goodbye. It all happened in a few minutes. Nobody expected something like this. Post-apocalyptic zombie. No, it's not zombies. Since the first meteorite hit the Earth. That's not a zombie. But it feels more like it's been two years. I still dream that every night. Every fucking night. Locked here, against my country. Against the unknown. I can't tell if this is story. Is it a story game? Is it a multiplayer game? Like, it'd be cool if you're a monster piloting those creatures. But it looks pretty single player y to me. I don't know. I might be wrong. Okay, so some kind of FPS, however, it's a bit of a weird one, right? There's nothing at the end here, is there? No, okay. So, I'm going to be honest, this here, I was like, oh, it looks like graphically really quite good. And then as soon as they went underground, suddenly things seem to take a step down. So, okay, so the plot is asteroids have landed full of these creatures from outer space by the looks of it. And you need to survive in the city. Like, there's a lot of murdering humans I'm seeing. And not, like, there's obviously murdering monsters as well. But there's a lot of human interaction. I'm not sure what this five seconds of the trailer was meant to show. It doesn't show anything particularly exciting. Um, it's literally just sort of some hacking, so I'm not sure quite what this is. And I, I'm assuming it's a single player game. Hang on, let me get it up on Steam. Explosion Adventure Shooter Action Adventure are the tags for it. Oh, it's actually releasing in four hours from when I'm recording this. Interesting. So it'll already be out when you guys see this. So it's an open, so it's like open world exploration kind of game. And I'm assuming there's some kind of story for it or. Or what? I'm not sure, but it's it's obviously built in. I assume Unity, probably, and the the assets are very like some of them look really nice. Some of the lighting looks really good, but then you get like this, and they don't don't look high quality. So there's a bit of a mix of assets going on here. But anyway, that's remoteness. Not something I'm going to check out. I'm not a huge FPS player. Um. And FPS open world exploration. I mean, I suppose it's something a little bit different than normal, but not really for me. Anyway, on to the next one. Shovel Knight Dig. Now, I haven't played the first Shovel Knight game. I've heard pretty good things about it, but I've never actually played it myself. Um, so let's have a look. Is this going to be like Motherload? You guys remember that game on uh, Miniclip? Where you had to dig down and find all the minerals and get the gems and get the upgrades for your little ship? Let's see. Not quite, it's just vertical platforming rather than horizontal. That's cool. Shovel jump. Makes sense, right? Shovel knight? Why wouldn't you dig? And this is also releasing today. Okay, so 
Oh. Hold up. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's vertical platform level as well. It looks of it. There's lots of different bosses and things like that. It looks pretty nice. Like, actually, like visually wise and animation wise, it all looks really nice. Slow it down to half speed just so we can enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, the water is like portals. I love this jumping mechanic. That's a really cool like getting around and surviving mechanic. It looks like there was a What's that? Like a settlement of some sort? So there's dialogue and there'll be a story of some sort. But then there's also bosses and stuff and there was a shop. For upgrades. Okay. It's a it's a 2D platformer, right? But it's mostly vertical rather than horizontal levels, which I think is quite cool. It's not something you see a huge amount, so that might might be interesting to some of you. Again, I'm not a huge platformer player. There's no price, but it unlocks in four hours, so they've not pre-released a price. Um, I have heard really good things about the first Shovel Knight, like I said, so I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be fairly good if you like that genre of game. However, probably another one. Not really, not really for me. Let's hope, hope with this third one we get better luck. Okay, this next game is called Credulous. Let's have a look and see what we got. It's a cool name. Recall, people of Credulous, when we saved you from the Society of Atlantis. Remember the home of the Corruptors, which lie on the ocean floor. For it is we who protect the vastness of Agartha. I see what kind of game this is. Okay. Oh, this is this is cool. Tell me, is this just a dream? Because these are my people. Very, very cool. Really nice trailer. Really good choice of music really fits like the aesthetic of this so what i'm assuming is this is a game similar sort of to mist uh, in that it's like an explorey puzzle style game where you've got to find stuff in the environment to be able to solve the puzzles and that kind of thing and like sort of all this stuff but it's a lot of exploration it's really pretty looking environments it's i assume greek Greek, Roman, Greek, I think. But then obviously you've got all of this underwater stuff. It looks like you actually go to Atlantis, potentially. Which could be cool. So it looks like there's some decent story. I love the... I always love big lighthouses and stuff. That looks like not a very nice puzzle. Also, what is this? See, yeah, there's like ciphers and stuff like that. What on earth this is, I'll, <laughs> I've got no idea. I, I feel like I would find myself getting quite frustrated at this, but it's also, it, I'm sure it's got some really nice puzzles in, and visually it looks very pretty. Plus, the, the promise of a decent story in there. So this, this so far is the one that I would maybe check out. Uh, this week, like personally, the sort of that fits my taste. I'm not sure what the price is though. There's again no price, even though it's coming out in three days' time. It seems like a lot of games now they're not releasing prices in advance, and it's just when it comes out. There's your price. That's all you're getting. So I'm not sure. I, I, like if it's sixty quid or whatever, then I'm definitely not recommending it. But if it's a bit cheaper, then yeah, potentially. So again, like there's clues and stuff all around. I'm sure. But yeah, really cool. Really nice trailer. The song fits it perfectly. It's only got 434 views this trailer, so I feel like this game's probably not very well known, but it looks good. It looks good. It might be one worth checking checking out if they release it for cheap. 
Uh, but I'll keep my eyes on it. Okay, next up this week we have the Spirit and the Mouse. Not exactly sure what we're in for here. It looks like some kind of 2D thing from this initial screen grab, or maybe 3D. And I'm sure it's going to involve a mouse. So let's have a look. <laughs> There's the mouse. And the cat. You got it, Mr. Mouse. Silly mouse. Oh, snap. Well, this is kind of cool. Wait, this looks really cool. And again, great trailer music, really fits the vibe. That's really cool. Oh, I love it. It's so just, you know. Oh, I don't know how to describe it. Not innocent, but like. It's a nice, simple premise. You're a mouse, and you've accidentally stuck, stuck, and you've accidentally got this spirit guardian thing stuck on Earth, and you need to now help out the people of your town to make them happy. It's cool. I like it. I like this. I like all of the art style. I like the fun noises. I like that the people are all sort of silhouetted, kind of block colors. It's very cool, but also the gameplay, like running around as a little mouse, collecting collectibles and stuff to help people out. It's cool. I I, I really like the look of this game. I'm going to... Hey, hang on. I'm adding it to my wish list right now. I don't know how much it's going to cost, though. So, that yeah, no, bear that in mind. There is no price on it. Again, if it's a full price release, it's... Probably, I imagine it's not going to be long enough. It's not going to be a particularly long game. I would have thought it's going to be like a few levels of helping people out. It's just what my initial judgment is of it. But you never know. There might be like multiple places you end up having to go to help out. But I assume it's just going to be the one place. So there's puzzles and stuff. So it looks like this was... Yeah, you have to move stuff into place that so you can run across places. Looks like it should be good fun, but again, I just need to check the price. But that's really cool. I still think Kelodis, sorry, Credolis, is maybe the one that I would check out this week. But again, it all depends on pricing, and there's no pricing out yet. Really annoying. Okay, next up, and the final one, is Lakeside. I could only find this 33 second trailer. There didn't seem to be much more. There's not much more on the Steam page either. Um, again, there is no price for this game, and it comes out in the 28th. Of September. No, oh, why is it quiet? And that's literally it. Um, but yeah, coming out on the 28th of September, pretty soon, and I could definitely do with some more info, because it's, like, it's a city simulator, but you can't see any resources, you can't see any of how the actual gameplay really works here. Is it just a case of you watch stuff grow and then you get given choices here and there, or do you have to properly manage it throughout? Like, because obviously the only gameplay they show is, 
Population increased, pick a reward. And it's fairly standard, like, city stuff here. You've got different resources that you'll have to manage. And then they give different benefits to population, food, all that sort of stuff. So, I just... There needs to be another trailer. There needs to be something that's got a little bit more meat to it. Because this 30-second footage, great to get it out there. It was released nearly a year ago. But there's not a huge amount of depth for me to be like, ah, oh, this looks really cool. It's going to have this. There's just not much there, unfortunately. I'd like, I want, I want to see more. There just is no more currently. It looks like the cities can get pretty big, though. Like, look at that. That is insane. And I, I mentioned these lighthouses earlier. There's another one there. So, again, no price. There's not much on Steam either about it. Like, the screenshots, one of them shows sort of resources at the top and, like, a play and fast-forward stuff. So I'm assuming you are basically managing a lot of different parts. Uh, I don't know if there's just one location or if there's multiple ones. So let's just look at the background. Cause I think these are all in the same. Oh, no. No, there's, so there's at least two. There's at least a couple of different places you can go. Assuming this is all... I mean, it says alpha footage at the start, but... Yeah, not so sure about it. I I need I just need to see how much depth there is, what what your actually, like, your end goal is. Because I that's, that is a problem with some of these, like, city builder population things. There's never actually an end final goal. It's just keep building and growing and growing. There's never, like, a, a win condition, I suppose, would be the way I'd put it. But, yeah, that is going to wrap up our five trailers for the week. I hope you've enjoyed. Some fun ones there. Crodolis especially looked pretty cool. And the... What was the other one? The Spirit and the Mouse. Or the Mouse and the Spirit, whichever way around it was. Also, a really unique, fun little game. Controlling a mouse, platforming around, just helping your village out. That sort of little story game I really like. If you get a nice, simple concept in there and just tell it well... That's all you need. So, some cool games. No simulators or anything this week. First time so far. But let me know your thoughts on any of them. And I will catch you next week. Same time, same place. For more game trailers.